thanks for coming and joining me on the video. Did you know that the object selection tool allowed you to do this in Cubase? Here I have a basic drum pattern and I have a bass guitar playing quarter notes. It's nothing special, it's just for the purpose of demonstrating this feature. Now if I play this to you... It's, it's just way too slow. Now let's say I want to play drums but at double time and play the bass at double time. What most people would do would be to open up the MIDI editor and then they would draw in the notes like this, you know, add things in, and it just takes up a little bit of time, right? However, there is a much quicker way of doing it in Cubase. So if you go over to where your object selection tool is, left click and hold, you'll get these additional tool menus pop up. And the one we're interested in is sizing applies time stretch. Now this is something you can use on audio, but you can actually use it on MIDI as well. The other way to get to this tool is by right clicking to bring up the tool menu. And again, if you left click and hold, it will give you the option to select these. Now watch what happens when we grab the edge of the event here at the bottom and we half the size of the event. It's going to turn these quarter notes into eighths. See? And then we can do this again for the bass. And if I take these both and duplicate them, it sped them up, right? Now, depending on what your grid settings are, and if you're doing this to bar beat or using the quantizer, it will affect how they get shortened or lengthened and how the MIDI notes are snapped across the grid. Um, but a good rule of thumb is if you want to be double the speed or you want to slow down by half, um, you know, always, for example, if I want to slow these down to back to what they were, just do half the size of the event again and uh, it will it will do it for you. So we have the fast one. And then we could double this again to go even slower. And that's it. It's a pretty useful feature. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions you want to leave in the box below, by all means do so. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video and I'll see you all in the next one.